Welcome back everybody, Kai Swans here with another episode of Football Manager 2017 with Carmarvin Town and it's two big games today, big money getters hopefully um, against FC Michelin and you see look they're only, where is it, over here, no oh, where, where on earth, they're 1999 so they're only what, 18 years old, 19 years old in the game at the moment uh, but look at them, three and a half star professional squad, some of the players they've got, let's just quickly flick through this guy, he's not the fastest but look at the tributes you can see absolutely insane just going to quickly flick through and you can see all the above tens look at this guy let's keep him brilliant here this Uduland everybody knows him I can't pronounce his name but everybody knows him um, Hansen they've got Christopher Olsen in midfield I believe if I just scroll really quickly here this guy some amazing players they've got and frankly yeah <laughs> I'm worried I will be honest uh, but here's my squad then by comparison let's have a quick look yeah not as good um, our debut for us today will be Josh Knight. Josh Knight in midfield, since he's now been eligible to be registered. Him and Spittle make up the midfield duo with uh, Keevan Lewis dropped to the bench. Lewis short on the left and Tom Pierce on the right. I know the midfield looks extremely weak, but that's just because they're all playing weak roles, if that makes sense. Um, I know it's not ideal, but it's sort of the best I can do um, because I want the midfield to have these midfield roles rather than have more exotic um, deep line playmaker or whatever suits better box to box midfielder might be better if him I'll do that okay box to box midfielder I can accept uh, but I want them to be wide midfielders offers more defensive solidity um, but that's about it in terms of how I want the team to set up they go okay I can give the defence more structure um, but that's the team um, apart from Josh Knight I think it's all the same as previously uh, we can see the bench here Morris, Vincent, Roberts, Wolf, Lewis Thomas Smith, yeah, fairly average. I've promoted a whole load of teams because we do actually have, it's easier to see here, uh, a few friendlies uh, in and around these games. So I'll be playing a completely rotated side uh, in them, just making advantage of them. Some of them we should get some money, like this game, that in 23s might get some. We get a decent amount of tickets, hopefully, a bit of revenue. Be nice to play them. Um, but yeah, we're in against Michelin. Josh Knight can get a number, number seven. Ooh, that's a nice number to have. Uh, and we're going to get trashed. Absolutely. Trout Stephen would be a better word rather than trash. Uh, look, they're playing a full free-free sort of defensive mid, two wide attackers. Uh, extremely good side. I'm not even going to bother with all that. Um, I'm just going to try try and motivate the team going into this game. Uh, I have faith in you. There you go. That should do it. Uh, and hopefully we can get a couple of counter-attacking goals and not lose too badly and sort of keep our heads high and make it competitive still in the second game. And the first highlight already. They've got a corner. They one nil up. 13 minutes in, 1 0 up. Bugger. It's not even a well worked goal or anything, it's just a corner. It's a nice corner, I'll give him that. Headed back into the box, into the danger zone. Tuchusen is unmarked in the box and can just head one in. Well, that's not the way I really wanted to go 1 0 down, but well, we have. We actually have a chance here. Um, Hakshka. Hakashka has, oh, he isn't going to get a card even, that's a bit disappointing, uh, has obviously fouled one of my players, Bishop Wisdom with a free kick but it's cleared, oh no they've got a counter and it's 2 on 2 at the moment, um, but hopefully 16 can get back, he can, and um, we've sort of got a bit of stood, oh bugger, well it was a good counter attacking goal, I'll give him that, really good goal, how fast is this guy, he's not even that, oh okay, he's got decent pace but not the best acceleration, um, yeah that was just a bit disappointing I'll be honest. He did it really well from a close angle, to be fair to him. Really, really well. Um, but yeah, 2-0. This is not going well, is it? They've got a free kick now. Um, they're clearly dominating the game. Not as much as I expected. Hit the crossbar um, from range. Luckily, they did choose to shoot from range. Oh, that's a terrible place for a free kick. Fortunately, we do actually clear it for now. Um, uh, however long that lasts, I don't know. Uh, have I got... Get stuck in on? If I do... No, I don't. Okay. If if I did, I would have turned it off because complete yellow cards in the centre park are worrying me a bit. Another corner, no, don't. Oh, it's exactly, it's identical to last time. I mean, the goal's slightly different, but the guy's unmarked at the back post. Heads in, three 0 This is embarrassing at this point. Ha just over half an hour gone by, and we're losing three 0 I mean, it's a bit of chaos in the box. Nobody goes to clear it. I, I, that is just absolute embarrassment, frankly, by our defence. We're into the second half now. We've just had a free kick, um, but. They've got another counter on, haven't they? Bugger. Out to the right hand side, crossing it about. They're spraying balls about beautifully. Long shot. Fortunately, Itzy does save that one. Uh, we're playing really badly. I'm probably going to take Mark Jones off for Aiden and Kane Owen off. Actually, I'll do them now. Kane Owen not having the best of games, so I trust Callum Roberts. I think he can. Oh no, he can't. Okay. Uh, and 
not having the best of games again. I put Aiden Smith on as a poacher uh, and put Bishop Wisdom as the advance forward. Hopefully just two attacking players to lump the ball forward to will do something for me. Highly doubt it though. Uh, I'm looking at Spittle maybe to take him off. He's not had the best of games and is uh, on a yellow card which is the main reason I would take him off. Suave oh, gets the ball out. Lovely ball in again. Roberts clears only as far as the striker who misses fortunately for us. Uh, I'm going to wait till 60 minutes at least before I take Spittle off I think. Keeman Lewis has been brought on for uh, Spittle who's not had the best game was on the yellow card. I was a bit worried he might get another one get sent off not be able to play in the next game etc etc. Plus he was tired he was at about 69-68%. But it looks like 3-0 loss will be the end result. Not the worst but definitely not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for maybe a goal. 3-1 wouldn't be too bad if we do get a counter here though it looks unlikely as he saves. They've got under the corner unfortunately. They're going to take another corner here. Same as before, but this time Sermon's there to cut out the danger for now. Uh, and we, oh, I thought we were getting the ball then. Olsen does clear forward. Hopefully we can get a nice counter-attack. Aiden Smith into Lewis. Terrible first touch by Lewis, although the ball was very harsh from Aiden Smith. And unfortunately that may well have been our best chance, and unfortunately came to nothing. Final chance of the game with about 20 seconds left. Oh, and it's going their way. Um, if they don't score this, the game's sort of over 3-0, which I kind of hope at this point. Dearland shoots, misses, and well, that's it for the first game. I'll see you guys for the second one um, after, yeah, not the best of games. And we're back for the second game against Midtjylland, uh, expecting another loss, but playing exactly the same team, uh, exactly the same style, changed absolutely nothing. Um, can't see how this could possibly go wrong. Uh, played friendly between Drew 1 1 against Torquay. Uh, all of these guys sort of played down here. Um, pretty decent result considering Torquay are far better side. Let's quickly have a look at them. Um, Van Rama National. Yeah, they're still half a half a star better reputation. Have half a star better reputation than us. Uh, but yeah, I will get into the game. Um, I don't know why I pressed no then. The team, team's the same as before. The opposition will probably be similar. Um, I'm privileged. Uh, I, I, I has my full backing. They're playing a 4-4-2 this time. Dearland, yeah, I'm worried, but hopefully we can take advantage of their lesser numbers in midfield. Doubt it, but I can still hope. Actually, most of my team is fairly motivated, so there we go. Uh, that's a pretty good team talk, if you ask me. Then the last game, I did mess up. Uh, I accidentally clicked. I was proud of the players. Um, that didn't go well. They were all really annoyed with me. First highlight of the game, Kane Owen with a beautiful free kick, unfortunately he hits the crossbar, that would have been insane to have got a goal that early, would have actually made the game vaguely and um, potentially winnable, but unfortunately it's not looking likely, as Mitchelland come forward again, Hansen, he's run past my entire defence shot, thankfully it's he saves, it's out for a corner though. Paulson to take the corner, whips it in, please don't say we can see the third corner against Mitchelland, we don't, it's he saves, well done, good, good job guys, good job. Johnny Spittle's got another yellow card, and J Josh Green actually, um, Josh, is it Josh? I can't yeah, it is Josh. Josh Green got a knock, but it seems to be recovering. Kane Owen beautifully wins the ball. Unfortunately, his ball forward is appalling, uh, and Mitchell and just have another chance. It's straight through. Idzi saves, and actually, normally, when that happens, and the goalkeeper saves, and it's on the line, it either goes in, or somebody knocks in, but fortunately, that time, uh, we managed to clear it, which is quite insane, and to get a draw would be incredible. I'd really like that. Um, we're going to go out, I'm, I have no doubt about it. What's really sad is and draw from the next round was done uh, and both the teams in the next round are far um, inferior to Michelin. Uh, I think it's like two star and two and a half star, two star, three star, something like that. So ooh, another beautiful save. We're, we're really keeping it on the line here. Two clear cut chances for them and they've hit the woodwork but well, we're doing our bit, for, thankfully. Well, we're into an, hour, an hour into the game, and so far it's not looking too bad. We haven't conceded, is what I mean yet. Uh, so it's only 3-0 on aggregate, which isn't the most embarrassing storylines, considering they're a four-star club and we're a one-star club. Um, <laughs> but they've got a chance now. Perry, Sean Perry, with a beautiful header. He's it's all he's good at, really, is defending. Where is he? Sean Perry. Oh, I'm missing a goal. I missed a goal. Bugger. Well, that's, yeah, so much for that clean seat. Here it is in 3D, they're playing the ball nicely just outside the box, play it through to Truchersen, Truchersen, oh that is such a narrow angle to finish off, fair play, um, and yeah, well, no surprise really we lost, if we just have a quick skim at their wages, uh, 1.2, 5 point, yeah, roughly 10 times the wages of our players, more actually, roughly 15 times, maybe 12, 12 times the players the wages our players are at. So I'm not really expecting to do much. I'm going to do some substitutions. Keno in again, poor game. He doesn't really like big games, the poor guy. Uh, Mark Jones, let's put Aiden Smith on and play him as a 
poach and then make him an advanced forward, a bit of runners maybe. Uh, and the final change, do I take off Spittle or Tom Pearson? I, I'm going to take off Tom Pearson for Kieran Lewis and then move Kieran Lewis into middle so Josh Knight can be a winger because why not winger? Sort of just doing whatever feels right at the moment. There we go. Bit more attacking. Few players can run forward onto through balls and hopefully we just don't embarrass ourselves for the last 25 minutes. We've got a chance here. Knight. Oh, that's a terrible free kick, pal. Uh, but he does get the second ball. Can you get that forward as well? Out to Josh Green. Uh, Josh Green has plenty of options. Get the ball forward to Smith. Unfortunately, Smith can't get there. But Knight again with the ball. Our best player just gives the ball to Sparv. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, Lewis, Bishop Wisdom though, we do have a second chance. Lewis, uh, a bit more of an attacking influence in the centre, a bit more direct than Knight, and that's a lovely play. Oh, Aidan Smith really should have put that away, and lovely play unfortunately did not come off for us. Green with a uh, ambitious cross from the halfway line, is that what you call it? Cross shot? Don't know. Um, but that's a decent chance at goal. We've actually had a clear-cut chance and hit the woodwork in one game, so... Yeah, we, it's you know we only need to score four more goals in order to be competitive in these ties. But I'm I'm really not expecting to over the next maybe four years get any further than where we are now. Unfortunately, it is a bit of a bummer. But at least the the Welsh league is a very difficult league to get, especially the new Saints being professional and us not being professional because the club don't have enough confidence in me. But that's beside the point. And well, we did give everything I had, and I'm not to see. I'm, I'm, I did, you shouldn't be switched off there, personally. I, I think that one's acceptable. After 3-0, I could understand, but after 1-0, I don't think that's that bad. But we're out of the Champions League, but we do get a fair bit of money. Uh, let's see. Oh, look at all that money. 230 and 275. Wow, that's half a million. Just all in one lump sum. Let's just have a look at the finances. Oh, look at that money. I'm rich. Um, I'm going to give myself a nice little bonus note, but... It's good that we can slowly stockpile. Once I get professional, um, that'll be nice. Uh, I'll be able to use it to get a whole load of, of obscure regens from across the world and build up the staff and so on. Really make this team, uh, give this team a strong foundation with which to work on for the future. Uh, but, oh well. Uh, we did lose. Josh Green did get injured. Pulled hamstring. I didn't notice that in the game. Uh, that's quite fortunate, but... Only to lose one nil. That's not bad. How much money did we actually get from from the game? Let's have a look at look schedule. Four thousand people were in in the stadium, so that's that's a decent fee. Let's have a quick look at gate receipts. One hundred twenty-eight. So about one hundred ten odd. Not quite as much as last season, if I recall. Let's have a quick look schedule. This season four thousand. Last season, yeah, Rangers. Oh yeah, Rangers. I guess are a bigger side than Michelin. So a good bit of money, but. That's unfortunately it for our Champions League. Uh, we did get through to the second to the second qualification round, but we faced a really big team in Mitchell. Unfortunately, would have liked to have got one of the easier draws. Uh, there was a fair few in there. Let's have a quick look who we could have got. Like um, here, the Karbak aren't like the most amazing side. Here, yeah, these guys, they're not the best. Like, there's a f there was a fair few teams we could have got. Unfortunately, we didn't. Um, next episode, you know who it's going to be. The New Saints, obviously. Um, might do like a spread out double episode, the New Saints and Bangor. Um, we'll see, but we have to play. Actually, do you know what? I'm feeling like a huge weight because the first half of the season, nothing is really interesting in that part. So if we get up to here, the New Saints, and whoever's better, like whoever's sort of, if any of these teams from real down to parlor, are sort of fighting for that top three spot. Um, we'll also play them. We'll sort of see how the season goes. So you don't know who the next episode is going to be, but it's definitely going to be against the New Saints. And it's going to be a huge way. Uh, I'm not going to do any more transfers. I can't afford them. The only things that will be happening is a few layers. Players will be leaving on loan deals. I've already got rid of uh, McDade. He's gone out on loan. Uh, somebody's paying his wages. So sort of just to help him improve a bit. It's it's not costing me anything. And either we sell him or he turns out to be a decent player. Same with this guy, uh, Wadlove. He's decent. If he can improve while out on loan, that's good for me. Uh, and that's about it for this episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, let's see if I can get professional again. I can't, unfortunately. Can I get, like, facilities, improved training facilities? Is there any way because of, because of the money? No, there isn't. Uh, but attract better players? No. Um... Oh, damn it. That's a pity. Let's just try you for facilities, because we're not going to get it any time soon if we don't get it now. Um, um, nope. Uh, 
Well, it looks like we're not going to get much off these guys. These guys seem really harsh. Let's allow another another coach. Um, ah, well. Well, we don't get much. They're really harsh on me, actually. He's enjoying and That's vaguely worrying. Makes it sound like he's planning on leaving. Um, it's not that he's loving life. He's simply vaguely enjoying it. So I'm a bit worried about that. And unfortunately, um, they don't look, they're not looking at really improving the team at all which is slightly worrying but once we're professional maybe starting next season I'm, I'm kind of hoping we can get professional status especially if we win the league again we should really manage it but that's it for this episode um i really hope you enjoyed and um, watching me get trounced by Michelin. but i'll see you guys next episode against the new saints and whoever else we play so thank you for watching hope you enjoyed and goodbye